Ladies and gentlemen, I am Montoya. Welcome to part two of my Q&A. We had a Q&A for Montoya for State of Squadron 20, and there were seven pages worth of questions which I could not get through. We covered most of page one. I'm going to get to page two in this video right here. Now, I covered most of them, but uh, page one, uh, the Fox, I missed an important question from you. What's your future plans for Test Squadron? Hey, we're on the right trajectory right now. Uh, if anything, we'll just expand into more into other games, uh, different kinds of media, more blogging, more videos like this perhaps. If any of you have more ideas about what you'd like to see from Test Squadron, let me know. Let's see if we can do that. But more importantly, you also asked, <laughs> have you ever eaten goulash soup? Igen, dear any goulash lavish, how is my Hungarian accent? What? Montoya speaks Hungarian? Just a little bit. But the rest of page one, I believe I did cover. Let us go to page number two. And the first question on page two comes from none other than Sir Cosmic. Now, if you have not come into live chat, Sir Cosmic, what a character. Ex-American living in the UK with his beautiful girlfriend. And uh, always joins us in chat at 3 a.m. East Coast time because that's when he wakes up to pee. <laughs> but Cosmic's asking, what's your question? Oh. Can I take a nap now? Now, that is a, a trick question because he is napping right now. Yes, yes, you may. Snakey, uh, that's kind of interesting. One of our oldest members posting right next to one of our youngest members. Snakey being one of our younger members in test. I believe he's in charge of the uh, division of dank memes. Is that what you kids calling it these days? Dank memes? Snakey asks, how do you find balance between personal life and us drunks? That's a pretty uh, good question. And have you ever made compromises in real life for the glory of test? Absolutely, all the time. Listen, um, test, as I've said before, is turned to something a lot bigger than what I thought it would be. Uh, it does take up a lot of time. You'd notice in the last couple of videos, I've already been pushing the Patreon and uh, trying to make this more of a full-time gig. Um, there is balance, you know. When I started this, I had no kids. Now I have two kids. A lot of guys actually starting families, and you really have to balance things out. So you'll find that around 5 till about 9 p.m. I disappear because you have to feed the kids, put them in bed. When does that stop? When do kids become independent? I hope it's soon. And so once the kids all fed in bed, I, try, I come down here and uh, try to get some time in with you guys. But by that time, I'm also pretty tired from uh, chasing them around all day. So, you know, it is a big balancing act. But you know what? Uh, I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. It's really been great, and it's only getting better. Naf Naf Bobface, I have to ask you how you got that name. Naf Naf Bobface is asking, and let's take number number three here. Have you fitted a lightning rod to your house? He asks because a couple of months ago, the house was hit by lightning. Now everything plugged into one wall was fried. TVs on both sides, sound system, everything just completely gone. It was a disaster. But my computer, thankfully, was on a power surge protector. But the ethernet cable running from my computer along the wall up here to the modem was not. And the surge went through that, through the ethernet cable, and fried my onboard ethernet card. Uh, so I did buy an aftermarket ethernet card, plugged it in, and thankfully that works. A couple of things in the computer, like it's a couple of sensors aren't working, uh, but it's running. So guys, save yourself a lot of money in the long run. Power surge protection everywhere. Stalinator is asking, Star Trek Captains Part 2, Cisco or Janeway? You know what? As the father of a young girl, I like that they put Janeway in as a captain. But I found her very irritating towards the end, especially the whole thing with Chakotay all the time. Cisco, once he shaved his head and had that cool goatee, plus the Defiant was the coolest ship ever, I have to give it to Cisco. And it seems that Butas agrees with me. Lord Darth Vic from Hungary. I'm checking the flag. It is Hungary. How you doing? We just spoke about goulash a second ago. He asks, well, there's a, a wall of text. Let's just pick a question here. Uh, on a serious note, how do you intend to control of us being so many and only one of you? All right, very simple. I will not have my fingers in everything. I have captains, lieutenants, there's people coming up the ranks. They will take care of the things and report back to me. It's impossible for me to do everything all the time. Uh, Test Squadron will have very focused sections that report to me all the time and also very loosely organized sections, which will also report to me all the time. But I don't control it all. There'll be lieutenants, captains, and people in the ranks taking care of all smaller sections and divisions, but uh, they'll be in a larger umbrella and a broader picture and a big picture, uh, which everyone will fall under. Uh, I hope that answers the question. 
Let's uh, scroll down to a question from Accented, and he's asking, will we ever get to create our own groups on this website? Um, all right, we have a groups feature on the site, but no, if you let everyone create a group, there'll just be thousands of dead groups. Uh, the secret to our success is really been that everyone has come together to work for a common cause under the test squadron umbrella. And once you start fracturing up into smaller groups, it takes away from that. So for as long as possible, we want to try to keep everything under one umbrella and uh, the groups themselves, you know, we're keeping them minimal groups for now. Uh, but as needed, we'll create more. Should I buy Civ 6? No. Can we have Piracy Group? Yes. <laughs> Can you force Guana the Immortal to gib all the Division's new logos? Nay, those are my logos. What's wrong with my logos? You stay away from my logos, Ghana. If you don't know, she's a most amazing artist in all of Star Citizen. Tremendous. Jeno180 asks, Will we should post where no man has should post before? Hello, mate. Well, Jeno, you're in Australia. No, sorry, Tasmania, if I'm correct, if I remember correctly. Uh, now, we know the Australians are the masters of shitposting, but uh, this is what I say about shitposting in general. We are about here on our level of quality of shitposts. They are very high quality shitposts, and it's very easy to drop down and have low quality. The thing is, once you get down here, there's nowhere left to go below that. So by maintaining high standards right now, we leave plenty of room for more shitposting in the future. Does that answer the question? I hope it does. Oh, and if I send you a jar of Vegemite, will you eat it on the stream? Oh, God, no. Vegemite and Marmite, what is it with... Uh, you know what? In South Africa, we had that too. We had Vegemite and Marmite. I knew kids which brought Marmite to school on sandwiches, and it's disgusting. Vegemite, even worse. I don't know how people eat that stuff, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't eat it if you paid me. <laughs> do you eat it? Any of you guys watching, do you eat Marmite or Vegemite? Let me know. Big Cracker is asking, how did it make you and the rest of the officers feel that Test Squadron Best Squadron was featured in the opening of the CitizenCon video? Huh? Well, that was a very short clip, and if you missed it, if you blinked, you would have missed it. Let me pull it up. You know, I went searching for this. Uh, here it is. Watch. To be to live in an online universe. Watch. They have been watch. Watching for watch. Test there squadron. it is. It's a fantastic community, and that really is what it That's is. That's it. That's all the blurb was, but you know what? Uh, it was an honor to be recognized by CIG, and uh, actually when I went to the CIG offices to visit, and I go, hi, I'm Montoya from TEST, they were like, oh, Montoya, it's kind of flattering. They, actually, they know who I am, uh, and they know who TEST Court, well, they should know, I mean, it's a large organization, and we do represent the game well. So yeah, it was a bit of an honor, and uh, obviously humbled. No, I'm talking shit. We deserved it. <laughs> Thunder Kraken is asking, can someone pick me up at Korea Station, please? <laughs> yes, we're on the way. Wait right there. Michael is asking, when will we get a proper test fleet set up from the data of the website? Uh, yeah, you know, a lot of people ask for this. They want to see the, the fleet makeup. What is our fleet made up of? And you know what? It's not really important at all. Uh, I'm sure it's impressive. I'm sure we have the biggest fleet in the game. We have, we try to do a manual count of how many javelins we might have, and it's upwards of 40 at this point. So whatever the fleet is, it's impressive. But more importantly, and why I want to tell you guys that you shouldn't really worry about the fleet size, is that it makes no difference how many ships you have because you're one person. So if you have 58 ships in your hangar, you can only fly one at a time. So it makes no difference how many Idrisos, how many Javelins you have. All that's important is that you have an Aurora and you're willing to blow yourself up in it for the honor and glory that is test. This next question comes from Commissar John Fucklaw. Ooh, can I say that? Can I say your name is Fucklaw? Let's say Fuklaw. Commissar John Fuklaw. <laughs> Is that it? Correct me if I'm wrong. How will we manage our glorious capital ship fleet and carve out space in the name of Auroras? How will we manage it? Well, I think it'll be self-managing. Uh, give us a week or two in the game. I'm dying to see some capital ship battles. It's going to be amazing. We really have a, a very big capital ship fleet. And uh, like I've mentioned in the past, you know, leadership will bubble up through the, the ranks, and uh, I fully expect to see some very seasoned and very talented fleet commanders start appearing as we start engaging enemies, and uh, we'll be sure to have the best and the brightest leading the cap fleets. The final question on page two is coming from Crimes, uh, Crimson, Crimson, and the question is, and it begins right over here, I only wanted to know what is the right number of beers so that I look hot to the opposite sex, asking the important questions, and I do have an answer for you now. 
Uh, let's assume the opposite sex is female. Let's assume she is 110 pounds. Through a lot of trial and error, I have found that it is exactly three shots and one beer. Uh, no more, no less. Any more than that, then uh, it goes the wrong way. Any less than that, they see right through you. So exactly three shots and one beer. I'll stick by that. How's that for an answer? Good answer? I believe so. All right, guys, that wraps up page two. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned for page three later in the week. I'll see you in a bit. Man, I didn't realize that uh, answering questions could take so long. Hi, guys, how you doing? Enjoying the Q&A? I am. Hey, don't forget to hit the like button, drop a comment in the video, and also hit that subscribe button down there. If you missed any of the previous videos that should be showing on this side, or is it this side? I forget which way to point. Let's point this way. Yeah, check out these videos inside over here. They're pretty good, too. I'll see you guys in the next one.